Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. Now, some of you are going to be too young to remember the oil crisis of the early 1970s. I'm old enough to remember it. What happened was there was a three-day working week. There were power cuts. There was a fuel shortage. Everyone freaked out. Oh, my God, there were huge queues outside garages. Petrol was rationed. And so some engineers at the time thought, let's make vehicles that don't rely on fossil fuels. Let's make electric cars. And they did. And to be honest they were pretty rubbish. And I'm standing in front of one now with its proud owner. It's Mr Johnny Smith. Johnny, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank hey, you. you right? <laughs> now this is... When was this car originally built? 1974? 74. 74, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. This is, it, this is the third one off the production line. Oh, really? Oh, God, you really know the uh, detailed history? I am sad enough to know that, <laughs> That's yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, the yeah. third one, and it's an Enfield 8000. Enfield 8000 ECC. ECC. Ele electric City Car. That was it. Enfield 8000 ECC Electric City Car. Yeah. This is what we're going to have as the alternative. So when, when it was originally made then, presumably things like range, speed, were fairly limited. It wouldn't do 60, so it didn't right. have a 0 to 60. Right. Um, <laughs> it, had an, it, it did 40. Right. And uh, it would do... And it was lead acid batteries, presumably. Lead acids, yeah. yeah. It had 300 kilos of lead acid truck batteries. Right. Uh, let me think, uh, four in the front, four in the back. Right. But it did have some pretty cool stuff like onboard charging. Right. Um, heated windscreen. Um, Wipers. Run flat seats. tires. Run flat tires. Yeah, it had run flat tires. Wow. Yeah. So it was really cutting edge science stuff at the time. I think it was pretty good. I mean, yeah, yeah and it wasn't based upon anything. Right, so it, it was it, built, it, made for, as that. It, it was a, a converted car. It was a EV, yeah. so, and made on the Isle of Wight, of and, course. And was it Enfield, because I, I, I know Enfield Motorbikes, was it the same company? Is it, yeah, right. That's right. They, they, they built it. Right. They set up a subsidiary automotive company because right. after the oil crisis yeah. situation and thought, we need to tap into this. Yeah, that's fantastic. But now you've done a little bit of tinkering with this over the last couple of years. Yeah, this is really not standard. <laughs> I mean, it's not as bodily. It's not modified. Right. It's an uh, aluminium body. It's not. Yeah. Uh, it's not glass fibre. Yeah. And um, we, I just decided to take all of the old technology and replace it with 21st century. Right. EV. So technology. That, now this has a lot of batteries that are doing lots of very cool flashy stuff here. There's some flashing. Yeah. So is that now? Is it just batteries at the front, or have you still got some at the back? Just at the front. Then. Right. So what was 300 kilos of lead acid <coughs> yeah. that was like, um, let me think, uh, 48 volts? Now right. it's 145 kilos. Right. But they're about 120 times more powerful wow. than they used to be. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah. And you've yeah. replaced the motor as well? Yeah, it's now got two motors instead of one. Right. They still live in the transmission tunnel. Oh, right. So they're running that way as a single back axle. Exactly. Right. So it's got oh, a right. prop shaft that's six inches long. Right. And then, uh, yeah, then into a, a diff that can cope with the torque. Right. So I'm not, let's not talk about how fast it can go or how quickly it can go. Well, let's experience that because I've been looking forward to having a ride in this for a long time. So let's, why don't you put your I bonnet back on? I need to put my on. bonnet on. Put it's your the bonnet smallest on. bonnet in Do the world. Do you need a hand carrying it because it's heavy? <laughs> let's see if we can lift it in. Oh. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It's I fantastic. take the bonnet off in about 20 seconds. It's really quite convenient. <laughs> if only all bonnets were like this. Let's go for a gentle old old vicar drive. That's what I need. <laughs> well, it ain't comfortable. <laughs> Put it like that. I don't know how to get in. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's got a roll cage. Yes. Oh, Lord. Oh, there, I'll get my feet in. There we go. Oh, it's so comfy. Just, it's, it's not holding the front wheels, you see. Right. It's obviously... That is working. <laughs> what was great was the environment, <laughs> the environment we were doing that in. Well, there's an... That's an old man walking and talk, going for a peaceful walk in the countryside, and suddenly he disappears in a cloud of white burnt rubber. I actually can't see anything. <laughs> I'm going to have to just drive with the door open for a little short time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my neighbour, he, he, he knows the score. Just so everyone knows, this is a private road. No, we didn't do this on a public road. That Obviously, was better we then, you see. It. it was very good. <laughs> 
field in Northamptonshire that's currently shrouded. <laughs> the cows are wandering around blind, they don't know where the hell they are. And that's actually slower than it used to be, because it used to be lower geared. Right. So it was easier to just light them up. Yeah. The, the final drive is 2.49 to 1 now. It still feels wrong to drive yeah. on the road. Yeah. Since the modifications. The back axles, the suspension of it is designed to hook right up. Right. So it hooks up really, really well. Even under, I mean, we're driving right now uh, about 1,400 amps. Right. The, the, the maximum amount of amps that the system can cope with, the controller is oh, waiting for it to stop groaning. Yeah. Sounds like a ship in a storm. <laughs> um, It'll cope with, the controller will cope with 2,000 amps. Wow, and it's running on 1,400 at the moment. 1,400. Jesus. Yeah. So we did a 10 second quarter mile at, I think, 1,800 and something amps. All right. We, 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 we nearly gave so, it everything. Right, yeah. And it didn't break grip. On, right. a, on a prepared track, it still hooks up. It's remarkable. Right. The amount of torque that that is, yeah. it races better than I ever thought it would. Right. I never expected it to be so smooth. Yeah, and so it does. It does keep it, straight. It's absolutely right. straight. Right. I, it's only stepped out on me once, and I and I don't know why. But it gave me. There was enough time for me to correct right. it. We've slowed yeah. the ratio of the steering down. <laughs> oh, what I stupidly did then was glance at the speedo. <laughs> And even though my neck has nearly broken, it was still at zero. Yeah, yeah, the, I purposely... I, I did have it connected when we first started using it, but it just wound round and then just started, like, smacking. Right. The needle was smacking. It was, and what to it was trying to kill itself. <laughs> but then there's that... That's an, uh, you, that smell is, is rubber, isn't it? I mean, that's, that's, that's carbon. Is that carbon? Can you smell the London yeah. Underground? Yes, that's it's, what it is. It's the brushes so on the motors. So it's the brushes on the motors. Yeah. So they're brushed motors. When you really right. give it... Yeah, they're yeah. brushed. So they're, so they're all just going, going fzzz, we're just, just going, ah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, the noises. It's, it's, I'll tell you what, it's London Underground and Scale Electrics and electric and model trains. Yeah. It really... With dust. Yes. Yeah. It's Scale Electrics. God, my, my Ford GT40, when I really hammered that round the track. You'd get that. It's a hot dust <laughs> and carbon. It's actually quite an addictive smell. Yeah, I like it. Oh. I like all the noises. <laughs> what it does make you appreciate is that there were some quite clever engineers that spent quite a long time developing the Tesla drivetrain. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> Well, you, you've just got out of a Tesla and got into this. So you know you know stranger to electric cars, but the, That yeah. is just brilliant fun. It's quite a controllable thing. I'm going to have a drive. This is going to feel weird for me. Yeah, have you not? Have you not been in it when someone else has driven it? No. Oh wow! You're, you're the. Uh, I think you're the first person. In oh it. my god! <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop it! So yeah. that should make it. Uh, there's no. Uh, oh, the mirror doesn't really work. No. I you, no, what? I didn't bother with the mirror because it's not no, a legal requirement. To, is there someone? It's all right. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. The other, thing, the other thing you don't think of is power steering. Oh no! Yes. No hell no. But that's interesting because I'm so used to re regen braking, it's not slowing down. No, Just, it's 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 doing the total opposite. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing noises it made. Yeah. That was a that new noise. God, it's making. <laughs> now again, because you haven't got any servo on the brakes, so so you've got to kind of you commit. Push them. You've got yeah, to commit. Don't be afraid to commit. You can't dab. No dab. It. Don't dab. You're. you're heart rate, I would imagine, when you're on the start line, you've oh, done the burnout. That was incredible. Things full of burnt rubber smell, and you're there, and you're waiting for those lights. You're That's there, be... and there's a supercharged V8 staging next Which to you, and it's just down. going, yeah. ah, and everyone's loving it. And they're looking at this going, I don't really understand yeah. it. That's what, it's a good feeling, actually. <laughs> and I like the idea of taking something totally in, inappropriate. Yes. As the base line. And that's why I set off on this weird journey to try and find an electric car that would, would fit, the, fit the bill. I could, I could do a turn around in there. There's yeah. one right up immediately. If there's, to be honest, if there is someone behind you, uh, like, a, that like a massive cement truck. <laughs> I think there's no one coming that way. So, Let's just leave it behind. <laughs> So we 
we've used 30% of the charge, I guess. We've used it was 100%, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, the oh, motors look, the, the motors are much warmer, though. They were really down the bottom. They were they? 16 yeah. degrees or so. And then this tells you, the, so the pack, the battery pack is 274 volts right. in total. They're not warm. The cells are 24 right, degrees. Right, so they're fine. Yeah. See if it's all right. That's bloody terrifying. <laughs> I don't know about you, but you know, once you get in it, um, yeah, it feels it's, it's no, very roomy. It? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And you forget what the car beginning. is. Yeah, yeah. I actually forget what how ridiculous this yeah. is, and then I get out and yeah, go, and go what bloody hell. hell. <laughs> What's weird about this is that people now know what an Enfield 8000 is, whereas right. no one yeah, gave no a one toss knew. for. No, no. No, it's, put it on, it's definitely years. put it on the map. This is his 40th birthday this year, this car. <laughs> this is his 40th birthday. Where? This is the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, where I got the name, the, the, the flux right, capacity. The flux capacity, name. yeah. Yeah. Would you want to be in that doing 130, no, no. 140? Because <laughs> with the current gearing, we reckon it might do 140. Right. It's quite a frightening process. And that's the reason why I didn't do a land speed record. Yeah. I'm not Lord Drayson. No. I don't want to be doing 200 in that. No. Do you? No. no. Shit, no. 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 Not in anything, but certainly not. But, that. but not in something where you know, if if, if something, God forbid, it would goes go wrong, wrong so quickly, it's got such a short yeah, space yeah, of time yeah. because it's a short. Yeah. Well, that no, thanks, Johnny. That was absolutely brilliant because I've known that you were doing this for so long now. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, I remember talking about it when you. I think you've just got the actual car. 2012. We talked, that, yeah. Got 2012. It, got the car in 2012. Oh, well, brilliant. thank you for taking an interest. No, it's fantastic. Well, I mean, it's my joy, and actually to have a go in it is brilliant. I mean, that is fantastic. Really good fun. Completely barking mad. It's an electric brilliant. relic. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? It is.